Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm in the greenhouse now and at the moment I've got two trays. You're going to have to excuse the chickens, they've just been let out after lockdown and they're very excited. So we, we might get we might get some interference. Um, anyway, two trays of tomato seedlings which are going quite leggy. These ones are actually sown in an egg box, so the top of an egg box, so people give us them for our eggs. Um, and we just use the, the base um, and actually chop the tops off to use for growing seedlings. This one's actually a proper, somebody must have bought me this because I'm too tight to buy them for myself, um, a proper base which has got a proper gator lid and things like that. So there's probably about 100 seedlings here. So this year, this is my outdoor variety. So I grow a variety called Outdoor Girl. And here in the northeast of England, it's done me fantastic for a couple of years. Um, so I'm hoping that it does fantastic again this year. So the further behind the my indoor tomatoes, because I don't want these growing too big too quickly, because I'll have to mother them in the greenhouse and we're not going to have enough space for everything. So these guys are a little bit further behind than the other ones. I will have to keep them in the greenhouse for a period and they'll go out after the last frosts into the, the paddock that we've got down the bottom. I've just been starting off. I'll put a link to what we've been doing in there. I've been joined by a honeybee. Um, and you can see what we're gonna be doing and where these will eventually go, but it'll be for, uh, not for another couple of months yet. So problem is, these guys are quite leggy. So they've been reaching for the light a little bit. They've been in the propagator in the house and they've had plenty of light, but not enough to stop them from going leggy as if they were in a greenhouse. So what I'm going to do is show you how to fix leggy seedlings specifically tomatoes i also do this for my peppers but don't worry if yours have gone leggy and a bit floppy like this they're going to be absolutely fine okay so all you're going to need is some containers that are about the same depth as the tomatoes are tall um i've just grabbed one here this is actually a little bit battered and bruised but it'll last us another year and essentially we're going to prick them out is the terminology i use a pen you can use a chopstick you can use a proper tool and literally you've just got to be really gentle you don't want to break any roots and you don't want to break the stem so always hold them by the leaves and just literally ease it out free up some of those roots and we're going to fill this with compost and we're going to place one of these in each one of these now obviously I've got lots to do because we're trying to grow a year's worth this year. So I'll just show you the first couple. And interestingly, the ones in the egg tray, which are, have got less root space because it's not as deep and potentially a few more seeds in there are nowhere near as big as the leaves on the one that's a little bit deeper. So just bear that in mind for your future growings as well. So I'm going to get my compost and get going. Just filling up your pots with compost, a little bit more here, and then we're going to whoops, don't want any big lumps in like that. This is just shop bought multi purpose compost, and we're just going to fill it up. And you're actually going to just push them down because you don't want too much air and space in there. Fill it up a little bit more because there's not going to be much compost coming across with them so sometimes when you're planting on larger plants they'll bring quite a bit of compost with them or you'll just use the actual the full tub that they're in okay so that's nice and we're literally going to take your weapon of choice hole in the middle and also if you don't firm the compost down too too well you won't get a hole that's of um that stays as a whole, it'll all just cave in. So another reason to do it quite firm. We're not watering at this point. And then literally, as I say, you're just pricking out your tomatoes. This is the one I did earlier. Placing it in your hole, be very careful when you're encouraging it to go in and just popping that down like that. And what I'll do at the end, I'll just go around each one, add a bit more compost in, but I'll do the full tray before I do that. 
So on to number two. And the reason I use my fingers is just to firm it in really well at the end. So there we go, just prick out another one and pop that in there. And then literally keep on going till you've got them all done. So as you can see, I'll be here for some time. And when you're done, as I say, just fill them in with a little bit of compost. You can take this right up to the leaves. That's how deep you can bury them. Because what actually happens with tomatoes is if you've ever grown tomatoes before, you'll notice when they're quite big and chunky that the, um, the stems will, will throw off roots and anything, any compost that they're touching, it'll actually just root to. Well, essentially the same thing's happening with these guys here. So whatever you put under the soil, under the compost that gets with the, the compost and the water will produce roots and you'll just get a nice, strong, thicker stem and these guys will have a much better chance in life. Once these are all done, I'll give them a gentle water and get them back in somewhere that's frost free and not going to get down to freezing. So ideally in my greenhouse, it'll be a heated greenhouse overnight. So these guys should be OK in there. I might take them back in the house for a little bit, though, just in case they're going a bit of a mood at being transplanted. Sometimes that happens. And also try to avoid transplanting them on hot days um, because they tend to go in really big moods about that one. And you'll think that you've lost them, but you won't have just then once you've transplanted them, give them a water, pop them in some shade somewhere and just give them some chance to recover. So I'll show you once I'm done, but it's as easy as that. Get them transplanted up to the first leaves, be super gentle with the roots and the stems and you're good to go.